All right, me and Dave are out here with our stiffies. We're gonna, um, Dave's not too confident with his. I'm still not sold on it yet on my one, but we're just gonna bash the crap out of them, do a bit of drum running and uh, see what happens. Yeah, try and get it in the boot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On there. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Lamb to the slaughter. All right, we've, they've been re-trimmed. So. Oh. Well, that's a zero out of ten for getting it in the boot. Oh. Up. Looks like you need a bit of expo. But... All right, let's get my my stiff in the air and get a wet and see what happens.
So uh, first flight with two stiffies in the air. Mine's way underpowered. David not using the landing piece again. Yeah. Really? What do you think this time? I think I'm telling you now with the new motor on the back because it was uh, very pitchy. Yeah. Um, so more dead weight, I think, to be added. Um, with my nice dodgy tape. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you. No, it's a bit lefty righty, but <laughs> a bit lefty righty. Yeah, not happy downy. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a fly of this? See what you. It's all right. It's only a stiffy. <laughs> World's biggest controller. It's yeah. fucking really. Yeah. My main trouble finding a bag is getting that fucking controller in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what that, that, uh, that huge in the case I've got. It's just slit in there. But, yeah. Right. Ten points if you get it in the boot. <laughs> yes, yes, fair enough. Uh, well, five points for each door, ten points for the boot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess also that, that um, HD mount might be adding additional loads of weight too. Oh, the, that's a plastic bit, yeah. yeah. I don't know how much that weighs. Ready? Yeah. Now it goes just goes more or less where you point it, so that's probably a bit better, I reckon. Nice as well, should be. Stay playing with my stiffy. <laughs> Landed. Okay. Oh, you see where that is. <laughs> I reckon that's the sort of best punch point. I think it's better. It seemed to be better than... With the camera on, I reckon that's like... I'd say that's slightly yeah. behind the screws now. Right. So it's probably in between your 170 to 175. Yeah. Well, I've, got, I've put another 35 grams on the nose of mine, so we'll <laughs> see what it looks like. You when you yeah, well, I've, I've tried it both with and without, but right. me not being a wing boy, it's 
kind of where it flies. Mm. What more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, obviously everybody's got their own setup, sort of flying style, haven't they? But yeah, that's kind of slightly behind the screws, I would have said. Yeah, you kind of you put your finger on the screws, it's it tear heavy. If you put your fingers as close to the screws but behind them, yeah. it's yeah. Whereas before it was, well, it's moved quite a bit back then, hasn't it? It's actually was slightly forward of the screws, I would have said. On the, on, with the cam on the front. Yeah, you. Were, I think you were sitting about here, weren't you, somewhere? Yeah, just the same, right, same, same sort of thing. You were just feeling the screws, but you were in front of them. Right. So it's kind of sort of moved it back, sort about of. Ten eight, mil, maybe. Yeah, eight, ten mil, yeah. Mm -hmm. So is whatever measurement device. <laughs> That's probably that distance away, isn't it, really? Hmm. It's probably what the width, the width of that. Which is probably so about on the 180s. Yeah, nearest damn it, yeah. But I was Let's see what it's got. It might because you've got a bigger motor, mm. more. Must admit, the angle, the thrust angle as well. There's no real. If you put the foam in quite wrong, yeah. <laughs> you could have the thrust angle sort of two or three degrees yeah. out. And so I decided to whack a great large motor mount. I'll just cut, cut, cut the two extra ones off. <laughs> you have to like put some additional holes in there though as well. Or did it no, fit that? The, the screwed motor's only screwed on the two screws as well. Oh, right. But it's a pusher, so yeah. it's pushing itself together all the time. Yeah. Right. Go and balance your hat cam on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. Stiffy with a uh, no mount. Hopefully the hat cam's working fine. Current burn. Oh, seagull. Right, Dave's going to get his stiffy up. I'm going to wave my stiffy in your face. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm looking up, so you probably can't see it. That's all right then. <laughs> Wind seems to drop a bit. Come back! No, yeah. It's quite hard to keep away from the house, but tough shit. <laughs> What's that feel like? Oh, went for the kill shot. <laughs> oh, come on, you bugger! Oh. Dave's goggles down. <laughs> Kind of over the trees at the bottom at the moment. Oh, I'd be close. Yeah, I've got no chance of catching her. Yeah, battery's just died. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
think the ESC has decided now you've got a flat battery. Landed. Right. Hopefully the hat cams picked something up. Battery's just died. Does feel a bit more agile without the extra dead weight. Yes, Nicholas yeah. Robus. I said dead weight. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry, mate. <laughs> sorry. I... One plug. That was me being a naughty boy. I was, didn't have, I wasn't using my goggles, so I didn't really think I had my FPV cell on. But... You can't see it, that's Dave stood in the middle of the field. Just in case you're wondering, you couldn't see him. His camouflage jacket on. So what's the, what's the reckon with the extra 35 grams? Um, I think it's, it's flying better. But I need like another like 75 grams or whatever on there now. I'd say you've got a hell of a motor on the back, but it just seems to have to well, it's not even really very safe really with that much lead on the nose, is it? It's not, really. It's a bit of a hedge clipper. Mm. Four beans and go for it. Or oh, we can hit the drum. No, fly by. See if you can land on the drum. <laughs> Do you see the video of me? I see, yeah, like just, just trying to hit it. Well, I'm trying to fly over it, were you? But... Well, I was trying to hit the camera. Uh, Colin had his movie stuck out the top. So I was trying to clip the Mobius without I managed to break his case in the end. <laughs> it's only an empty drum, so it ain't gonna do any damage. Oh <laughs> chicken! <laughs> Although we just made a divot. <laughs> Must admit, it doesn't feel that much heavier than mine, no. to be fair. I think I'll maybe try a bit less weight because it's What's that smell? What? Metal burning you mean or? No, that's why it's like my electrical smell, but your motor's not hot, is it? Yeah, yes. Well, I could smell something. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nose like a bloodhound. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So it's, um... Yeah, it's quite... Yeah, it's warmish. That was, that was hot to the touch a second ago, it's cooled down. Yeah, the, actual, the back mount is bloody hot. Yeah. The actual drum's cooled down a bit now. Right. So I reckon the, the ESC's fine, but the yeah. motor's... The motor's say no, it's too much. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it said, well, it said 7x3, I think, on 3S, and that's a 7x5, so... Yeah, a little bit over the top. Yeah. You know, a 6x5 might have been alright. Yeah, I've only got those crummy Ishin ones that Matt gave me. I don't think they're particularly... The plastic white ones? Yeah. That's what I'm using! Is it? <laughs> I reckon they're crap. Well, yeah. They are shit, but yeah. that's all I, that was on the motor when I put it on. Oh, right. <laughs> so. Actually, um, Banggood had a, a sale. Yes, Banggood had a sale. <laughs> they are, I bought um, 6x5, 6, they had a 6 inch prop sale. 6.5, 6.45 six, and 6.4, a pair, because obviously you might wear props, mm. um, a penny. I bought 34 props for like 12 p <laughs> or something. <laughs> so I'm never going to need a six-inch prop ever again. No, well, as long as they're good ones, that's Well, hobby kink, but they're um, they'll be good enough for bashing around. Yeah, well, they might even still be on. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's their cyber sale or deal of the day or wherever it is. But... I can never look at it.